Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna be trying some Sam's Club products. We got here our stuffed peppers with cheese and the peppers look crunchy and some of the peppers are orange and red. And this is some yogurt parfait granola. This looks like it's pretty juicy. Pretty crunchy too. So right here we got some warmed up rotisserie chicken from um from the meat section. It's four ninety eight and right now it's, it's pretty hot. You can see all the water because of the fog. Um, yeah, can we eat it? The next product we have is meatloaf with mashed potatoes and there's sauce on the, on the meatloaf and there's two butters on the right side and it looks good and can't wait to try it. So here we got some, looks like pepperoni, some cheese and tomato and some more cheese. Cheese looks pretty good. Can't wait to try this. Right here we got a 15 inch pizza topped with mozzarella cheese. You just put this thing in the oven for 15 minutes and it will be ready to go. You sure it's 15 inches? Can you read the box? I don't think it says 15 inches mm -hmm. in big letters on the box. Mm. Same thing. 16 inches, 15 inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have here? And the last it? product we have is chicken wrap. We have five pieces with lettuce and some turkey and some cheese in here and it looks good. So we're here, we got some frozen mac and yes. cheese. You put this in the oven for 15 minutes and the cheese will mess into the mac. It makes mac and cheese. So, mac and cheese, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I can't wait to try all these. They look all good. Now I'm gonna try yogurt parfait and with granola and it was $2.99 and it was freshly made today. Right here, I'm pretty sure the granola is separated from the yogurt so it doesn't get too soft because you want it crunchy for that taste. And there's some fresh blueberries in here for probably because the yogurt is just plain. You want some more taste and yep. Let's go ahead and eat it guys. Okay. Pour it in at the same time. You ready? One, two, three. Cheese. This is good though. Right now the sweet. yogurt feels kind of it's like tastes like milk but way sweeter because of the granola and blueberries. Oh, I'm going to pop in my mouth. This is really good. It'd be really good if we had like strawberries and bananas instead of just all blueberries. It would be super good. So for the ending results, I think this is 9 out of 10. It would have been better if it had different kinds of fruits, but 
It's still really good overall. What about you? I think I'll rate this an 8.5 because um, because I would add like strawberries and banana just like you, Raiden. Because I also like strawberries and bananas. Tastes good together. Just like the smoothies. I would rate this 10 out of 10 because I like any kind of stuff and just tastes good. So right here we're gonna be trying some meat and cheese and this costs $2.98. So let's dig in. Oh, I don't really care about the cheese. I like pepperoni. The tomato smells good. Yeah, mix. It looks crunchy. It tastes like cheese. Pepperoni is pretty good. The pepperoni tastes different from its when it's not cooked. It tastes like I'm gonna try it tomato. Tastes way different. Try this cheese. My is pretty good. It's juicy. Tomato is pretty country. I really like when it just pops in your mouth. I think I'll have two cheeses. I'm gonna try. I like this one. Me. It looks like it tastes bad. <laughs> I'll rate this 9 out of 10 because the pepperoni didn't taste the same as the pepperoni on the pizza. I'll rate um, this 9 because um, same thing as casein. It just doesn't really taste good. Like the one on the pizza. Oh, I rate this about 8 out of 10. I really like this cheese. This one's kind of plain. The pepperoni is not really taste way different from the ones I'm used to eating. And the grape, or the grape tomato, I want to eat it with the cheese and pe pepperoni because um, it tastes like you're eating uh, it tastes like you're eating jello, but you mix it with like a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're tasting the um, chicken wrap with buffalo inside. Uh, it's uh, two ninety. Wait, what? Four ninety eight. My apologies. <coughs> Right at the start, it tastes like something a vegan would eat. Not really a carnivore, but <laughs> let's try it. I don't like this. This is pretty bad. This is spicy. It was spicy, it just tastes weird. <coughs> I don't really like spicy things. Even worse. Milk. Tastes weird like that. Tastes weird, yeah. It was really spicy and I definitely don't like spicy stuff. So that's that's like one out of ten to me. I think that was some um, 8 out of 10 
because of the spray tan that tastes a little bit good to me. I gave it a um, 7. I would have liked it 10 out of 10 because of the spiciness, the cheese, good mix, but if it had some sort of meat, way better. So here we got a roast dishery chicken. Um, it's only $4.98. We can have a feast out of this. Looks juicy. Okay, let's open it up. It smells good. It smells like <laughs> it smells like baked chicken. <laughs> oh, look, it's a string here. It's a sad chicken. It had to be tied up and killed like that. Well, I got dipped in this dump string. Hey, I'm gonna get it. No, I'm not. I'm perfectly nope, fine no, with no, the scam. No, 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 no. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I just want the scam. I have it. I have it. No, I have it. No. I already have it. Oh, where's the rice at? I'm not even gonna eat this without the rice. Oh, where's scratched rice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is juicy. I want the skin in it. A little bit juicy and I like the meat. Skin is the best part of chicken. Oh my god, what is this? So yummy. I think this is a 10 out of 10 for sure. I think this is a 10 out of 10 because the meat tastes with the skin and with the rice. My is 10 out of 9.5 because I mean it's chicken but I made you like a um, fried chicken but this is still really good in my opinion. Oh yeah so much left over. We can share with the whole community. Let's see what we got here next. Pepper pizza. Just kidding. It's just pepper with pizza. Mm -hmm. Pepper with cheese. It's red, orange, and yellow, and hmm, I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, there was nothing. Pepper. It smells like cheese. Hmm. Hmm. I taste the cheese in here. It's a lot of meat. Um, I thought this would be a lot worse. This place is pretty good. Oh. I forgot to get the cheese. This is taste is pretty sweet. And it's pretty it's pretty juicy. It's like trying the yellow pepper and the cheese and the meat I thought it would be way worse I thought the pepper would be spicy it turned out to be sweet and my final rating would be 9 out of 10 mine would be 8 because um, it wasn't really that good
because I don't like pepper and because it's like the mixer with the mix with cheese tastes a little bit weird. Mm, I'll give this a nine out of ten because mm, I didn't try bell pepper before and it was country and it was pretty good. Our next meal will be mac and cheese. Let's it make it. Ooh, what? It's like a whole piece. Totally. It's a lot of cheese. Okay. Looks good. Get some. Can't wait. This is pretty like this is pretty um plain. Tastes very cheesy. It tastes like pretty good. The cheese is just it ain't sticky like how cheese would stretch sometimes. It's just like a blob of cheese stuck onto your mac and cheese. give this um eight out of ten if if it will make it a ten out of ten if maybe it had some kind of like flaky stuff on the top to give a little bit of crunch i rated a nine because um sometimes they eat like regular mac and cheese and i like this and this is basically the same thing i'll give this a ten because you can spend it in the regular mac and cheese that you microwave in the microwave. Oh, <laughs> microwave, I want <laughs> creamer. Put it in the oven for 15 minutes, and it turns out to look like this. Um, can't wait to take one of these slices. Right now, you can see that the cheese right here is kind of like. It's it's not burnt like the edges and the crusts are looking kind of thin, not as thick as like Papa John's and stuff. I'm gonna take this piece. Oh yeah. I'm getting this piece. I'm getting this one. All right, first bite. Um, well, I like this 
pizza at this place. Um, it's called the Pub's Pizza. Well, not really. It's just called the Pub. I mean, it's really cheesy and good. Mm. My favorite pizza place is Chuck E. Cheese because they have good pizza and they have a lot of cheese in the pizza. Now our last product is from Sam's Club is mashed potatoes and meatball. He baked it in the oven for 40 minutes. And now we're going to eat it. Let's get it. This tastes like, um, this is smells like, um, cheese. If I look at the meatloaf, I can see that there's pieces of carrots inside of it or something like that and at the mashed potato I can see that there's herbs on top of it mm. tastes good the, meat, the meat of tastes like meat and when I mix it with the meat loaf it tastes like mashed potatoes and meat Mm, I'll give this a uh, 5 out of 5, I mean 10 out of 10 because mm, I tasted this before and it was really good. I'll give this a 9 out of 10 because it just tastes like chicken with rice. Alright, before I rate this, I just want to say that the meatloaf, it, to me it tastes like fish ball, like exactly the same. Um, I never tasted this yet. The mashed potato would be great with gravy, but by itself, it's still pretty good. But um, if I were to rate this, I'd probably give it a eight. Not really a big fan of meatloaf, but you know, it's not that bad. Thanks for watching our Sam's Club review, and my overall rating for our eight items today was ten out of ten. Mine was eight. How about you? I got. I think it's nine out of ten. Thanks for watching again, and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's go dig in. Yeah. <coughs>